the camera that I bought is this one here. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Bangkok. It's super hot here right now during the daytime. So what's the best thing to do? If it's too hot, well, hang out in a place that has air conditioning, right? And what kind of place has air conditioning? Shopping malls. And which are the best ones? The ones that have camera shops, like the one that is behind me. It's a mega plaza and there's on the fifth floor, they have, uh, I don't know, dozens of, well, maybe not dozens, but a few camera shops, that's for sure. Maybe you remember I filmed a video there a few months ago, um, going there on a camera shopping tour. But this time actually, I want to buy a camera. I'm looking to get a rangefinder camera because I'm missing my Leica too much. I didn't bring it on this trip. So I might buy one in there. So without further ado, let's hop into the Mega Plaza and see what kind of camera I can find. The mall is rather old and is very interesting to explore besides all the camera gear. So this is more the nerd section, not the camera nerd section. All right, next floor. Kind of similar, but there's one floor further up where they have all the cameras. Here we go, welcome to paradise, guys. Way too many cameras. Oh, let's see. Oh, they have a uh, Olympus 35DC. Definitely a camera that's interesting because it's very compact. And also they have a 35 SP, also nice. Hmm. Oh, and they have a, a black 35 SP. Very interesting as well. So here's 35 SP. So they are all fully working? Yep. Okay. I've, I've never seen it in black. <laughs> it's Quite more rare, but yeah, yeah. yeah. It's more rare. It looks better, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, it's so small. And this one you can use uh, more three functional. Ah, uh, so this is uh, automatic, right? Uh, uh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. one, yeah. Do you have, um, I think the RD is... RD? Yeah. Do you have that? No? The Olympus 35 RD was one of the cameras that seemed appealing when I did a little online research before coming here. It can be used without batteries and is very compact. This one here is already really nice. Uh, so are they serviced or anything? Or okay. In some of the shops the cameras have been serviced and are fully working. This is 16,500. Or this one, this is the cleaner looking one. Hmm. This shop is more on the pricey side and I wanted to look around more before buying any camera. Thank you. There's also a 35 SP. So basically um, the 35 SP is definitely on my list, but also the RD because the RD is um, quite a bit smaller and uh, I like the I like the, the form factor and it's only 500 grams so that's pretty good. The problem was rather to find one and this shop had none. Hymatic 7, it's almost like Sony A7S2. <laughs> almost is a uh, Sony, Sony is from yes. Minolta. Yeah, yeah, that's why I mean. Then it's a... Uh, the Minolta seemed nice too, but the lens was blocking the viewfinder significantly more compared to the Olympus, which is probably due to the compact size of the camera. Okay. So this is 10,000, but the light meter is not so good. And how much is this one? A S300 Oh, it's a uh, what's uh, the light meter? Not good. No, not good. Okay. About it's a uh, six thousand. Okay. Okay. Right. But I wanted to try to find the RD. The next shop didn't have an RD either, but an 35 SP in black. 12,500, okay. DC? Yes. But no, no, this is uh, automatic. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I want uh, mechanical. Oh, mechanical. Yeah, yeah. 
She showed me the Canonet QL17, which was really nice, but to me it seemed heavier than the Olympus 35 SP. But in reality, it weighs about the same. Or also a contender would be the Canon. The Canonet. Viewfinder is nice. She also had a QL17 G3, which is also lovely and a possible contender. But the Olympus has a spot meter, which can get handy, but on the other hand, the Canon has quick loading, so changing rolls is a bit faster. Okay, uh, let's find the uh, 35RD. So, uh, do you have uh, Olympus 35RD? No? <laughs> okay. Hmm. So, what do you have? Do you have the Olympus 35RD? You might have guessed the answer already. Of course, they did not have the Olympus 35RD. Man, it's not easy. So, the SP is pretty common. Uh, not so much the black one. So, the black one is nice. But is it worth uh, paying the extra money? So it's 40% um, more than the silver one. So not sure if that's worth it. So the cap. Uh, uh, do you have a Olympus 35 RD? It seemed almost impossible to find the RD, but luckily there were great alternatives available. Okay, so let's see what else we can find. Oh, it's way too many shops. I already have no idea which one I already checked out. <laughs> uh, it's getting confusing now. Let's see what's uh, going on in the next floor here. Uh, it's more, okay, restaurants and stuff. All right, guys, now the question is, what should I do? Uh, there's basically uh, the RD I could not find. And from just by looking at the cameras, I mean, the uh, Minolta was okay, but the Olympus seemed a little bit better. The Canon, the um, Canonet seems okay too, but it's just, it felt a little, it was a little bit heavier, so uh, I don't know. In total, I think the Olympus seemed a little bit nicer, uh, but it's also the most expensive option. So now I should think about what to do. I will probably just grab something to drink somewhere, and then I will decide which camera I will buy. I will definitely buy one. Which one? Uh, you will see a little bit later, but maybe now it's the time for you to leave a comment below and tell me which one would you pick and why. And then let's see which one I will pick. I'm not sure yet, so not decided yet. I will think about it. Next few minutes, I have around 30 minutes uh, to go back to one of the shops. I think they, they all, or maybe pro most of them will probably close around six. So I have a few mi minutes left to decide which one to buy and then I will go there and pick it up. Few moments later. All right, guys, it's now roughly one hour later, and you're probably wondering which one I picked up. And it wasn't easy. Uh, there were many choices. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't find uh, the 35RD. Oh my god, all these letters are so confusing. Um, they are, I think the RC was, oh, no, okay, never mind. Too many options. So basically, there were a few handful the uh, Minolta, the Canonet and uh, Olympus 35 SP, the black and the silver ones. Um, and yeah, after thinking about what to pick up, I'm a little bit of background. I wanted a camera that uh, I want to keep for a while, shoot for a long time, and a camera that I actually like, not just a cheap one. So I was thinking really hard which one to get. And in the end, the camera that I bought is this one here. It's the 35 SP in black. Uh, yes, it was quite a bit more expensive than the silver one. However, 
uh, when I looked it up on eBay and the prices on eBay were roughly si very similar and this one is in I mean it's in mint condition it has no scratches no nothing it looks like almost it has never been used so I think if you consider that uh, the price is not too bad and in the future I think these ones will probably get even more expensive so yeah awesome I'm glad that I found this one uh, the first black that I saw was even more expensive than this one uh, I think it was 40% no yeah 40% more than this one that was too much it included also uh, the half case but I don't need that one so yeah this, and uh, if you're wondering how much I paid, I paid around 330 euros or 25 to 330 euros, something like that. Um, yes, it's quite a bit of money for a camera like this uh, compared to like a, it's peanuts basically. All right, guys, uh, now my task for the next few days will be to put this to use. Maybe a film, an episode with this. Uh, if you want to see an episode with this, let me know in the comments down below and yeah, damn, I have a new camera, so my, I wanted to uh, get rid of some cameras and not buy new ones, but this is really cool, I really, I'm really happy that I got this one. Right guys, that's it for today's video, I hope you liked this episode and as always guys, if you, if you do so, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will see each other very soon in the next one, until then, auf Wiedersehen.